yes sir. so many contradictions so uh, memory cell even if it appears to be a small latch is not just a latch okay now we will have a quick look another look at cell stability hmm? uh, a more visual kind of a look and uh, so let us say there are these two inverters uh, a uh, you know a pair of inverters this node is called n1 n2 and out2 hmm? what i do is so if i if i draw their uh, transfer characteristics the transfer characteristics would appear something like this hmm now if i close the switch what happens now my transfer characteristics are like this what is important to notice is that for the uh, first inverter the input no longer is in one the input is now out two so the first curve is between out two and in two the second curve is between in two and out two right so both the curves are between in two and out two i can actually overlap them but when i want to overlap them i will have to flip one of the curves as i flip one of the curves what happens i come up with what is called as a butterfly curve okay are you with me why is this called as a butterfly it appears like two wings of a butterfly hmm so in this butterfly curve now we say that we want to do some noise analysis on this latch so let us say this blue dot was 0 and the green dot was 1 on zero i will put a positive noise and I, on one i will put a negative noise i will inject noise which is trying to disturb the contents of this latch hmm now if i look at this two inverters uh, which are connected back to back and i say that okay let me just you know this is this means that there is going to be a positive feedback here am i right so there is going to be positive feedback over here can i simply say that it is almost like saying that there are these two inverters feeding into each other is an infinite chain where n1 is equal to n3 is equal to n5 and n2 is equal to n4 is equal to n6 hmm so i'm just instead of showing it as a positive feedback in a loop i just opened the loop hmm and i have injected noise there all in twos have a negative noise all in uh, all odd ins have a negative noise all even ins have a positive noise vice versa hmm so yes <clears throat> so in <clears throat> so for example i get this point that uh, once you Form this loop, it could be considered as a long infinite chain of inverters. Mm -hmm. So, but for example, uh, if I consider the first inverter only, I inject positive noise at the zero i i in one. So, but mm -hmm. if that uh, noise is below is uh, in the range of the noise margin of the in my inverter, so it will it will not get transferred to this i in two, right? Yeah. So, sir, no, like, no. who said it will not get? It will not lead to a flipping of the contents of the memory cell. Some impact may come on i in two. depending on the transfer characteristics how much gets transferred depends on the transfer characteristics so it even if it is within the noise margin the noise will get transferred that is what the transfer curve is about na but uh, like in we see na ki if it is below non non the contents uh, how am i input it it doesn't get transferred that it doesn't no. need to flip no it does not lead to a flip but yes, it sir. does get transferred how can an inverter not transfer its input onto the output can it ever happen except in an erroneous simulation can it happen that an inverter will not give an output based on the so, input so it will but it will maintain that output to be uh, so the logic the, level may remain same raghav yes sir but the voltage level can change na 
ओके लेट एस लुक एट इट वाई वरी अभी देखते हैं ना सो लेट एस से नो वट इन दिस बटरफ्लाई कर्व ऑल इन ऑड इन ऑड इन और ऑन दिस साइड ऑल इवन इन और ऑन दिस साइड ऑन द जीरो ऑन द इन वन आई इंजेक्टेड अज सो दिस इज वेयर माई ट्रांसफर कर्व केम सो माई इन टू यू विल नोटिस if if this is my transfer characteristic and this is the noise injected my in2 was at full vdd earlier it will now come to a little below vdd okay i have just zoomed this small region into this okay so now in2 has gone a little low i also injected some noise on in2 so what happens the in1 where it was all earlier at full zero has you noticed have you noticed it has gone a little above zero because that is what the transfer curve is about hmm then for in3 now in3 is somewhere here i inject a noise there okay so in4 is here and i see that since the amount of noise is very less my you know i add more noise across the other stages i simply play between this this axis my contents remain safe are you with me are you able to see this so why will why it is getting bound in this region only that is not uh, because you tell me in 3 came here hmm? yes, i added noise hmm. it means in 4 came here i added noise on in 4 it took me to the almost same level as where in 3 was so i in 5 sees the same voltage as in 3 If I N five and I N three are going to be the same, then what what are we saying that आगे भी जाके all I N seven, I N nine, etc. will also be the same. That is what we are saying over here. That when I injected noise onto N four, the way it impacted N five was that N five also came to the same level as N three because the noise was so less. Hmm? Now, if the noise is more, what happens? Now, when you inject noise on in uh, in uh, on this curve, now you will see that soon I actually enter into the other side. So my cell contents are corrupted now. I move from this place, this lobe, to the other lobe. so in between these two places then there must be a boundary after which the cell fails but at that boundary the cell still passes and you will notice that that boundary comes when you are kind of talking about the largest square so this is so this is your one axis of noise addition this is the other axis of noise addition the largest square that you can fit into the lobe of the memory cell that is in in the lobe of this butterfly curve is what is the maximum noise you can inject and this is then the noise margin of the latch you're not even talking of memory cell yet this is about a simple latch this latch could be in a flip flop this latch could be your d latch this latch could be anything any latch this is the noise margin this is the butterfly curve is the technique to measure its noise margin the largest square you can fit into the smaller lobes would be called as the noise margin hmm now another way to look at it is if i had injected one noise at uh, in1 in3 and in5 what that meant was that even when in1 was zero the curve has moved to a little to the left so even at that 
zero value of n1 because of noise the the n2 has fallen from the top level to a little lower value now i inject the other side of uh, noise other noise on the n2 n4 etc what that means is uh even when n2 is zero my n1 is no longer zero okay so the point where these two curves kind of stop having an intersection or uh, this is no longer like a butterfly curve that point is your noise margin so the largest the longest you can go up and left is what your noise margin is in a way we are again reiterating that the biggest square you can fit into the lobe is what the noise margin is okay any questions